right, welcome to another installment of Spotlighting Seniors with uh, the crew from Manchester Central. We have Ashwin and Josiah. How are you guys doing today? Good, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, thank you. Uh, thanks for being here. We, um, we're we going to start out, I know this has been a crazy end to the uh, to your senior year here, but um, just want to see how everything's been going. How has been um, the end of the year with with the remote learning and um, how to how to figure all that stuff out. How about um, you? Matt? Remote learning wasn't really fun, but it didn't go, it went well. So it went smoothly, but it wasn't ideal. You feel the same way, Josiah? Um, yeah, it was, it was stressful at some points towards the end. At first, like I didn't really like get it. I wasn't really doing my work, but at, towards the end, I did all my work. I got everything done, so it turned out good. Well, that's good. Did you guys have a, a set schedule you had to stick to, or was it um, kind of the teachers assigned work and then you get it in? Um, teachers the assigned teacher's work. Pretty, yeah. Gotcha. Um, were you guys able to get any any training in, any um, any preparation? I know we went, went for a while unsure if we were going to have a season or not, and then I think a lot of people kind of lost some motivation once we um, once we called it off um, for the season, which is a little disappointing. But um, I see you guys. I mean, had some really really incredible uh, indoor seasons, and um, didn't know if you guys continued on trying to trying to stay in shape through the spring. Yeah, I mean, at first it was like difficult because you know, like we were told that we weren't going to get an outdoor season, but. I mean, I still have been running and stuff to keep up with it, stay in shape. You doing the same thing, Josiah? Yeah, at first I was training every day, going to the track every day. And um, then they said like, there's no season. So I kind of just stopped like training for track and started training for football. Nice. Um, and now you, so Josiah, I know, I know that you were big on throwing and you, and you, made a lot of progress the past couple of years. It's crazy to see some of the stats. You went from uh, like the mid forties and then went 53. Um, yeah. Do you, do you have a favorite event? Is it shot put or is it, uh, I see that, you know, you threw really well in disc too. Um, probably disc is like, I like shot, but this is more fun to me, I guess. Yeah. That's great. The, the throwers end up having a big, like a tight knit group of kids. I love that. Yeah. Um, Ashlyn, how about you? Favorite event? My favorite event is definitely long jump, but I like to do sprinting too. Nice. Um, do you guys have a, a favorite competition memory? Maybe a, a great uh, shot put competition or a great long jump competition you guys have been involved in? Um, my favorite was definitely when I got my PR because it was a huge PR for me compared to my other jumps. So. It was like just a good day. At sixteen eight. Yeah. When did when did you do that? Um, it was at a UNH meet, an indoor meet. Wow, that's awesome! Jumping at sixteen eight at indoors. Yeah. Yeah, that's really tough. Nice. Um, how did you decide? You have a, a favorite um, competition memory? Uh, probably this year in states where I was losing until my final throw against Owen, Owen and I threw that fifty three. And I won states with that. Wow. Yeah, that's awesome. It's a good way to uh, to end the season for sure. Yeah, definitely. One season. Um, now, if you guys could try any event in track and field, um, what would it be? For me, it would be definitely be pole vault. I was going to try it this outdoor season, just like a little bit, but <laughs> then the season got canceled. <laughs> Yeah, that, that pole vault is contagious. We once a few people once we get the mats out, that uh, everyone's drawn to it. Yeah. You want to try that out too, Josiah? No, for me, it'd probably be like the hammer throw if they had it in New Hampshire. Oh yeah, yeah. I'd definitely guys, try that out. Now, um, are you guys both planning on competing next year in college? I am. Yeah, I am. 
next year I'm not going to be in college because I'm, I joined the National Guard. But awesome. so, so you're going to go, is that a one year? Um, is that a one year program for, for you to start off? So I have training for about six months. So I won't really be able to go to school this year. And then after that, it's more of like a part-time thing. So I'll be able to do UNH like next fall. And I might do track, I'm not really sure yet, yeah. but I'll see how it goes. Nice, that's good. Uh, just I, do they have, will you be able to throw hammer next year? Um. Yeah, but I don't know if I'm gonna have me do it. I'm probably just gonna stick to shot and disc. Um, the school I'm going to. Nice. Well, that's good too. Uh, Hudson Valley. That's um. Where Where is that? Um, it's in Jordan. Yeah, it's in Troy, New York, right next to Albany. Awesome. That'll be fun. Um, yeah. Now, do you guys have? Uh, you guys have both had a uh, successful high school career. Do you have um, something that motivates you, a coach that motivates you, or kind of maybe something in you, like intrinsically, that, uh, that motivates you to do well? Um, my coaches have always motivated me, and my sister also did track, so she always motivated me, too. She does it in college, too. Great. And how about you, Josiah? Um, probably my family. You know, um, my brother and my mom are both coaches, so like that kind of helped. But they just motivate me to get better and be better than them. So, like they always want me to be great, so that just helped me a lot growing up. Great. Yeah, it seems like you guys really and you. Uh, I don't know. You take that motivation and, and have done really well with it. So it's that's great. Um, do you have a a favorite track facility that you like to compete at? Um, for indoor, I like Dartmouth. That's a really nice one. Yeah. Everybody loves going to Dartmouth. I don't love the ride. It takes us about two hours to get there, but um, yeah. once you get there, it's awesome. Yeah. Do you have a, a favorite track that you like to compete at? Uh, probably Dartmouth. It's just a, it's a wide area to throw at, so... Gives yeah. you more space to like warm up and everything. Yeah, that's great. Um, now, do you guys have um, any superstitions, kind of like um, things that you do before a competition, maybe a pre-meet meal or um, a song you listen to? Any type of any type of superstitions that you go to? I don't really have any, honestly. Like, I was just, I do like the same warm-ups like exactly the same and all of that and like I don't know I kind of like get ready for my event like the same every time but I don't really have like a song or something like that all right just consistency right yeah yeah I feel like if I like mess up the routine I'll mess up my jumps yeah I hear you um to say what about you any um superstitions or any um, any routine that you go through pre through pre meet. So I think the biggest like I have to put my shoes on a certain way. Like I just do that, then I have to do my warm up. I do that twice. Like I have to do it twice, where like I feel like I'm gonna mess up like everything when I throw. <laughs> then like I have to put the, like the same playlist on like the same exact order before I throw. Nice. Do you have a certain song? Do you have a, one song that you go to before uh, before you get in the circle? Um. I don't know, like it depends on the like the day. Yeah. But I don't know. Usually it's something like calm, like before I throw like calm the nerves down. I, yeah. That's a good way to good way to go about it. So you got uh, get in your routine, you get nice and calm before you get in there. Um if you guys could go travel to any place in the world, where would it be? Definitely somewhere tropical. <laughs> <laughs> I love the beach, so Hawaii, maybe something like that. Very nice, Josiah. Probably Japan. Oh, just because, just because, like the cherry blossom trees and like just the scenery, the atmosphere there, it seems like really cool. Yeah, this is a good one. Um, let's see. Do you have a 
um, a favorite quote or um, kind of words of wisdom that people have, have given you that kind of uh, stick with you? It's okay if you don't. I don't really have anything. All right. Decide you have any any fa a favorite quote or uh, any words of wisdom people have given you that have stuck with you? I think like the biggest probably like stay ten toes down. Like just always keep pushing forward kind of thing. Like one of those kind of quotes probably. Yeah, just to keep you keep you motivated. Yeah. Nice. All right. Well, before we go, uh, do you guys have any shout outs you like to like to give? Um, my family and my coaches. Definitely. All right. Decide you have any shout outs? Um, my family, my coaches, my teammates for the past four years. Awesome. Well, and you guys are looking forward to uh to graduation in a couple weeks, huh? Yeah. Yes, definitely. That is gonna be awesome. So Fisher Cat Stadium, is that where where it's gonna be? Yeah. Oh, that's gonna be great. Mm -hmm. Nice. So you guys are looking forward to that. Well, thank you very much for joining us today. Uh, wish you, you guys the best of the luck uh, next year. Um, thank, and, you. Um, thank you. We'll talk to you soon. Yeah. Thank you for having me.